Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, we are going to assemble this Schwinn DSB hybrid bike. Um, this is a 21 speed with the 700 C wheels. We've been looking for a bike for my wife for a while and we finally found one. If you're looking, don't worry, just keep looking. They're out there. It took us a while to, to find one, but if you look online and in the stores, eventually you'll come across one that you like. So let me show you the side of the box so we can see what the bike is supposed to look like when we have it assembled. All right, guys, so this is what the bike should look like when we get it all assembled. And um, it's a nice looking bike. Schwinn is a great brand and they've been around a long time. So we were happy to find one. This was in the price range we were looking. We were looking in the two to $300 price range. And this one uh, fell within that price range. It was at the higher end of it, but we were happy to get a, uh, a good quality bike made by a good company. So we're happy to get this assembled um, and then for her to try it out and see how well it works. So um, let me go ahead and I'm gonna get everything out of the box and organized and then we will start the assembly process. All right, guys, here is everything that was inside the box. We have the frame and the rear tire there and the handlebars. Um, down here, we have the front uh, tire and wheel. We have our pedals there and the uh, quick release there for the front uh, wheel and tire. Uh, we have our seat and we have the owner's manual. And with the owner's manual, make sure to read through it in its entirety before you assemble or use the bike. It will tell you everything you need to know on how to assemble the bike and use the bike both properly and safely. So um, let's go ahead and start with the first step, which is going to be assembling the handlebars. All right, guys, for the basic installation, these were the tools that are needed. This is a five millimeter uh, Allen wrench. This is a 15 millimeter open-ended wrench and then a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, this is just for the basic installation. For the adjustments, um, you may need different tools, uh, but just to get the bike together out of the box, these are the tools that you're, you're going to need. All right, guys, so this just needs to be facing this way. Um, on mine, when they shipped it, it was facing back towards the seat. Um, there's a couple bolts here and they were already loose so we can just spin these out like so and we'll set this down where we're not going to lose it um, and then the handlebars here just come up um, and you just fit them on like so um, you're going to get this part here in the middle um, you know it's got some um, indentations on it here right in the middle um, and then we're just going to put this piece uh, right back on. So, hold that there. And these bolts that I took out do have a lock washer on them. So, uh, just make sure not to lose that. I'm getting this, just kind of getting this tightened down a little bit by hand. And then we'll come in here and tighten it all the way uh, with the Allen wrench. So, um... Here we go. All right, let me tighten these up by Allen wrench here. All right, guys, and two, when you put your handlebars in, you wanna make sure the brake cables here have like a smooth arc and they're not all like twisted up and bent up. And you can see these uh, look like they should. So this is a five millimeter Allen wrench and we're just gonna come in here and get this all the way tight. And when we do this, um, we're just going to tighten it down um, a little bit at a time. We're not going to like wrench one of these all the way down. Let me get that one going a little bit like so. And we'll just keep tightening them down little by little. Um, you know, going back and forth. That way um, they go in evenly. All right, and that one's pretty tight. And that one's pretty tight there. So... Um, handlebars are good and we can adjust them if we need to but uh, they look good for now so let's move on to the next step all right and we also want to verify this is the stem binder bolt here and it looks like they've already tightened this from the factory uh, but we do want to verify that this is tight and it is so um, that one is good to go but uh, definitely wanted to check it and make sure it was tight all right let's move on to the next step 
All right, guys, so uh, next is the front wheel and tire, and there is the disc rotor here, and you just want to make sure that is on the same side as the brake caliper down here. Um, and there is a uh, tire tread direction um, on the tire, too, and you want to make sure that that's the same as the back, so just verify that as well. Try to do this here. They have this. This is like a protection piece on the bottom of the forks there. We'll take that out. And we'll put the tire in here like so. And there we go. Okay. We got this right for now. Now we need to put in the quick release. So I'm going to temporarily, I'm going to put the uh, kickstand down just to hold this in place. And now we're going to put in the uh, quick release. All right, guys, so here are all the parts and pieces for the quick release uh, for the front wheel. And the purpose of this is so you can take your wheel off uh, without any tools if you need to for transportation or whatever uh, other reason you might have to take off your front wheel. So um, if we look up here, I'm going to show you how this goes in. And the quick release lever side... So this side here goes opposite of uh, the disc rotor brake caliper side. So we're gonna put this part on here. Uh, make sure you guys can see that. So this part goes on first, um, and then we're gonna put the spring on, and the spring has to go a certain direction, um, just like that there. And then we're going to put the lock washer on. So, and this will just go right through here, like so. We'll just try to get that to sit in there for a bit. Now let's move over to the other side so we can get the other side assembled. All right, so on this side, we put um, the lock washer on. Let's see if that'll stay there. And then we're going to put our uh, spring on and same thing, the spring does need to go in a certain direction. So that's the direction it goes in there. Make sure you guys can see that, okay. It's the um, small side. Ah. It's the small side of the tornado here that goes in towards the bike. So um, lock washer and then spring. Just stay there, okay. And then um, the adjustment nut here. And we're gonna tighten up the adjustment nut until we have some resistance. Um, and then we're gonna test the um, uh, lever side here, the quick release lever side. And if it goes in too easy, uh, we just need to open it back up and tighten it some more until we can get the quick release lever to shut uh, with some good tension there uh, to make sure the front wheel is on there secure. Uh, maybe a little more. And you do want to adjust uh, by the adjustment nut side, not by the quick release lever side. So you don't want to use the quick release lever to uh, you know, make the adjustment to tighten or loosen. You want to use the adjustment nut. So um, now that we have the front wheel on, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next step. And this is what both sides should look like when you're done. Uh, just make sure that lock washer, uh, that little top part, that bar goes into the hole um, on both sides like so. All right, and once you have your front wheel in, um, you can make sure that you have your alignment set up properly um, with the handlebars. And these two bolts right here, we tighten those up once we get the handlebar uh, aligned properly with the front wheel. So I think I got it there. So we're going to go ahead and tighten these up. And same thing um, when we're tightening these, we're going to do a little bit on each bolt at a time. You don't want to just, you know, wrench one down all the way. And this is the five millimeter um, Allen wrench as well. So, so far, that's the only tool we've had to use. Okay, that looks good. All right, uh, let's move on to the next step. 
All right, guys, and for the seat, um, there is a, if you look at the bar here, there is a minimum amount that you do have to put the seat in. Uh, so just pay attention to that. And we're actually gonna put the seat all the way in. I'm not sure where my wife will want it, but we'll start uh, all the way there. And then we'll just lock it in place with the quick release there. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, guys, and for the reflector, we'll just make sure we get it where we want it here, and it uses a Phillips head screwdriver. There's just a screw in here, so we're going to tighten this down until it's in place. All right, and here is the one behind the seat, and this just has a Phillips screw as well, so we're just going to go ahead and tighten this one down as well. All right, guys, so next is the pedals, and they put on the pedals like an R or an L uh, for left and right. And the left pedal turns counterclockwise and the right pedal turns clockwise. And the right side is the side when you would be sitting on the bike. So this is our right uh, pedal or our right uh, pedal arm here. So we're gonna put the right pedal on first and uh, right turns clockwise. So we just gotta get it going here. Then we'll come in here with the 15 millimeter wrench. And get it all the way tight there. All right, let's go ahead and put on the left pedal. And I'm just trying to get that going by hand there. And then I'm just gonna come in here with the wrench because it's easy enough and we can just do this gently because we don't want to scratch the pedal arm there. And get this all the way tight. Make sure. All right, so now the left pedal's on there. So um, let's take a step back and see what the bike looks like. All right, guys, there it was, the basic assembly of the Schwinn DSB hybrid bike with 21 speed and 700C wheels. And look at it, it's a nice looking bike. Um, I'll be back in a week or so with another video on a review of this bike and the different features that it has. Um, this was just an assembly video to show you how I put it together. And this is where you would make the adjustments to the bike, uh, you know, that you would need to make, uh, you know, with the brakes, the tires, the handlebars, the seat, uh, the reflectors, all that different stuff. Um, you want to make sure that your bike is put together safely and everything's adjusted properly and where you double check all your work to ensure that what you did was done correctly. So I hope you guys like this video and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.